Hey, so, you know, sometimes music and, well, I would say this is really all the time. Music and friends are really all that you have. Whether you have lots of money or no money, and friends meaning family too. Um, and times are, are different now. And what I've seen from my own experience of people around me is it's different growing up. And it might it may be harder to go get on your own in in society today. I'm not saying some of you aren't on your own or you know, or they're, you know, it, as far as I can see, it's rarer for, say, somebody that's 18 or 19 to get out on their own and then stay on their own, you know, and have to work or have to do something to get by to pay for some kind of a roof, whether it's a closet or a garage or whatever or food you know you have to go to the food bank you have to dumpster dive I look back to the 80s people that I knew friends that could have lived at home because their parents were cool didn't they got the fuck out um, this is a big difference. Everybody that I, I knew, just about 99% of everybody, in fact, getting out of your house, getting out of your family house as soon as possible was the, was, there was just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It didn't mean you didn't love your parents. It means you got out, you know, because you're, you have to make it on your own. I think that th that's different. It's different. I'm not saying you guys, you know, anybody that's listening to this, I'm not saying that that's not true with, with, you know, uh, definitely a percentage of kids, of kids today get out early. But I know for a fact from people that I know, parents, from kids, they don't now as much at all. Part of it is could be fear on, on parents' side too. You know, and it's just not, you have, to, you have to make more money. It's easier to make a little bit of money today. You can sell stuff online or, you know, a lot of the internet's created a whole new source of some kind of income that's what i meant compared to before you know i mean you literally like being a street vendor in tacoma in yeah, other than the swap meet you know in uh the 80s it didn't it wasn't really something you saw you know the very blue collar town you know you you work in a you work in a uh industrial setting or you work in a fast food restaurant or you work in a warehouse you work in a shop you know i worked in a bakery and it was fucked man i had to clean stuff in this bakery and it was the most horrible job just just do that be be a dishwasher in a bakery and you will absolutely do anything in your life to to get out of that <laughs> i mean seriously man i don't know but so where i'm what i'm getting at too here is that there is a there is a drive and your art if you have an art Man, just do it, man. 
it's like it's it's so important I mean that's the um, that's you know don't do it in a sense to you know that your goal is to make money you know that's not positive you know but just do your art and do it honestly and and then after you do it totally honestly then then if anybody wants to buy it or if anybody wants to book your band or buy your photography or your or whatever you paint a mural I don't know whatever man acting then you know then you you have that you know you can you can be take your passion and roll with that you know I just ran into an old friend ran into an old friend two days ago he's literally living on the street he's older than I am he's probably 52 he's living on the streets he just told me he slept on a couch in back of 7-eleven you know and he's in front of the store playing guitar so he can literally buy food or, or whatever you know I actually bought him some food and sat and talked to him and he's like man I gotta get out of Tacoma Tacoma's a hole and he literally was like I could relate to him man Tacoma's expensive and it's not that exciting of a place right now you know I mean there's some good shows here once in a while but all together you know with it's not that exciting you know to be spending this type of the type of rents that they want here you know um, so yeah I'm seeing my my friend use his art and use his art man he's like he's a singer good guitarist he's 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 freaking living on the streets and he's doing that to make money to and he did he made like he said fifty dollars and he you know he um, um you know he's 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 working it at working at um getting out getting out of that that hole you know but that's that's real you know so my advice to anybody out there if you're say 18 or older and you're still living in say your family's home um and you know I I would strongly I would strongly suggest trying to have make it your own make it your own way whether you have to live in a house with you know five or six friends and you have to live in a closet with with your guitar or whatever you know um, I'll I'll tell you what man that that type of thing and working in a shitty ba ba bakery will change your life you know. Um, you will you will look at you will look at creativity as you know and and passion as something really really important you know um, it's a hard it's a hard road on your on your own but but there's a one point when you man you'll close your door to your apartment and you'll feel so good that it's yours and you know I really like living on my own and that's that's something that I really in, enjoy like doing this right now if I had somebody else living here with me I wouldn't be able to like it's not this there's not this like sense of like you know I'm God, I don't know the word, word for it but I'm trying to explain it so yeah get out on your own if if you're not as hard as it might seem you know as hard as it might be and those that are out on on, on your own you you know and you're you know I mean you 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 understand and you know those songwriters out out there and you know I get notes sometimes it's like hey I'm you know I'm a songwriter and I'm worried you know that all this songwriting will 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 go to you know it won't mean any anything and nobody will care and da, da, da. and um 
you know, it's it's important to just know that you're not doing it to impress people, you know, that shouldn't be from that place, you know, do it from a, from a place where it's therapeutic for yourself, you know, you need to, playing music is getting that stuff out, musically, lyrically, you know, or whatever it is, and then people will relate because it's coming from a real place. You know, and and you can make a living do, doing it. It just has to be from a real place. That's why the funniest comedians, you know, that they could be multi-millionaires now, they just talk about real shit that happens to them. A lot of the time it, it is, because life is funny. It's fucked up, there's weird situations, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know. It's like me telling you all my stories and all this is like entertainment for somebody else. For me talking right now, it's... You know, it's taken me a while to even realize that because when I watch myself talking right now, it's a whole different deal. You know, it's like I I feel differently when I'm watching. I actually found that I am entertaining. I've watched myself. You know, and that's not an egotistical thing, but I but I can visualize that now and go like, you know, like oh, it's a whole different thing. You know, it's like me talking to you right now is completely different from how I come across on on video I explain myself a lot clearer than I thought that I that I do you know I guess so it boils down to just eliminate fear you know I mean just understand it but just remove it you know no just go just fucking go for it you know um, if you have to live hard that can be that can be all right because it can it can get you out you know, that that can get you out to the point where you want to be, you know. Um, being comfortable under the family's roof or whatever is not always the most inspiring place to, to be, you know. Um, it, it, it's true, you know. It's a difference between those times and now I think more back then at 18 you didn't want to be at home and your parents didn't want you at home you know so no matter what you had to do you had to get the hell out of the house you know at 18 that's that was the rule and in my house you know um, it's not the rule anymore because I know some of the same parents that had, you know, other second families or that's not the rule any, anymore, you know, it was the rule with me and my brother, you know, we needed, we need to get, we need to get out and we needed to do whatever, was it to go to college or to, you know, find, get a job, find a roof over our head and yeah, it, it sucked, but you find your passion, you know, you, you have to, um, anyway, all right, I hope I'm making some good points, um, yeah, talk to you later.